Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another brand new Android Studio tutorial and today in this video I will show you how to integrate native ads into our Android app. So we have already discussed about using the banner ad and the interstitial ad and now the ad mob has been recently added a new one which is a new ad type that is ad mob native ad which means it, it is an ad that can able to just customize as according to our preference. So we have seen the banner ad and the interstitial ad have a specific ad size and the ad design or the ad style is actually uh, by actually offered by the ad mob and uh, there is no any option that we can able to adjust the ad size and ad style according to our preference but in the case of the native ad we have the the option to uh, we have to we have we can just customize our ad into according to our preference so let's get into the browser and now i have gone to the apps.admob.com and here i'm in the admob official website so if you are a particular person entering to this video and checking how to get the native ads inside your Android app, then all you have to do is simply go to apps.admob.com and just sign up with your AdSense account. If you don't have an AdSense account, then, then you can sign up and if you have, then just simply sign in. Okay, so what you have to do from the AdMob website is that click on the ads. Now you have to just, if you have watched my previous video, then you will probably have a application created here. Simply select that and if, and if you haven't created the app before, then simply click on the add app, then, then just simply give the name of your app and just create one. And once that done, you have to click on the apps and now you can click on the created app. So in our case, we have the AdMob ads, which is a sample project and simply opening that and what we have to do from here is that click on the add units and now we have to just add add units so click on that button and from here we have already completed the banner and interstitial ad now we are going to add the native ad so select the native ad and from here you can see we have the three options which is small medium large so in my case i will say that i'm going with the large which is uh, according to my preference you can simply use it uh, use it as as you wish everything going to be same settings but the customization will be a little bit changing according to is the ad size so i'm going to use the large one which is probably a better choice and uh, what i'm going to do is that now you can select the ideal your ideal template so i will say that the better one is going to be something decent so like maybe this one is better so i'm going to use this or uh, yeah this one is better i'm going to use this so selecting that add type and now you can see here i have selected the add type and uh, here is the three different type of that ad this is a static one that this has a little video inside that and this is something funky style anyways what we have to do is that you can just customize according to our preference now i just simply change the background i'm going to use the white again and uh, it's all up to you that if you if your application is a slight different from the normal android app then you can simply customize everything as you wish uh, once once you have made the changes you will have to just apply for the review and uh, if the review is not and after the review if your ad is not accepted then you will have to make changes into this editing so let me show you for an example i'm going to use the text color as white now validate and style i'm going to validate it it's that means it's review and you can see it shows that we have to use the color we have to simply change the color of the app the title is going to be the, the blah 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 we have seen here it says that the change we have to simply change the color of the background or the title so that means when you are switching when you are setting all the things into your same color which means say uh, the background and the title is going to be white and in that case the you will be having an intention that the the user will be clicking on your ad uh, without knowing that it is actually an ad so for avoiding that kind of issues the ad mob website and the creator had uh, creators had made a slight different 
idea in order to just avoid that kind of uh, artificial clicks towards the ads so we have to just simply use it as black or something like this and uh, if you know how to use the css which means something like uh, web designing and something like that if you have any experience with that then you can customize it as total as you wish now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the basic simply if we want we can simply make a little bit changes okay now once that done if you completed doing you can just simply validate that and uh, now it's okay and what we have to do is we have to simply if you want you can add the refresh rate which in my case i'm going to use no i don't want to add the refresh now add a unit id is going to be something like the natio add i'm saving it okay now the saving has been completed and you can see here is the, our added design and from here we have to simply copy the add unit id okay so copy that now click on the done now you can close the browser and now open your android studio so we have the sample project from the last tutorial if you have watched it you might know about that and uh, now what we have to do is like we have also uh, we have added the banner which is uh, here it is the banner and if you don't know how i added the banner you can watch the previous tutorials so in order to add the native ad we have to simply type native ad so yeah native ad and from this small pop-up we have to select this one that is native express ad view and uh, click on the I'm, i want to use it as wrap content wrap content okay so now what we have to do is we have to simply bring it into the sender i want to just add some customization so sender horizontal true sender vertical into true okay now the ad is at the sender and now we, what we have to do is we have to simply define an id for that ad view so id is met maybe like native underscore ad okay now finally we have to add two more lines which is same as this one so app then colon add size equal to now we we can simply add our custom ad size simply i just want to use it as 300 by 300 so actually this by is not not any kind of any other symbols you can find on the keyboard it is simply x on the keyboard which is alphabetic uh, which is a character x on the keyboard there is no any difference between this if you have any kind of doubts regarding that so after writing this code if you find any kind of error with this app then it is simply the prop your problem is going to be that you will have to add this line into your main layout hud xmlns then app then finally it is rest auto and once you add this line your problems or your errors will be removed and now what we have to do is we have to define the add unit id so add now we have to just what we say we have to paste the id that we just copied from the admob website i'm pasting here now we have to just press the alt and on the keyboard and select the first one which is extract string resource and now we have to just give a name at you okay so add underscore native clicking on the ok and finally closing it i'm going to remove this line maybe i don't need it actually so removing it and now i'm just adding the forward slash it will be automatically closing it now inside the strings.xml we can see now we have a new line that is add natio and we have extracted that from the this layer into these strings okay so anyway what we have to do is we have almost completed everything inside this layout file now let's move to the main activity and here we have to simply show the native ad if you are watching this particular tutorial and if you haven't watched the previous tutorials then you will have to add this line that is add a request so first just simply write something like this which is actually going to call the ad from the ad mobile server and once you return this line you can simply now start writing the codes for the native app so i'm just giving a command that is native app for better understanding and uh, it's not actually kind of a necessary line you can leave it now after the add request we have to simply type native then express add view 
and uh, I just want to give a variable name as native add itself equal to then find view by ID giving the ID that we just added inside the layout file now simply pressing alt enter and casting it now it will be automatically adding this bracket and the native add express add view and now what we have to do is we have to just add the native add view okay native add then dot load add then add request we just created so the native ad is same as what we have done in case of the banner ad and if you're looking to the both of the lines you can see it is almost similar to what we have done in the banner we just created the ad view then added the find view by id and finally loaded it and uh, same applies to this native express ad view so we have just created it and added all the things and if you're watching this particular tutorial and then you will be also how to add the internet permission inside the manifest so open the android manifest.xml and now you will have to add these two lines which will be using the internet from your android device so now it's time to try this app in a real android device so as as always i would like to tell you guys that it won't be working if you just created the add unit from the admob website just right now so you have to wait a couple hours before the add unit id is going to get active once it is active then you will be finding the ad working perfect inside your app okay guys so we have the native ad in the android device and as you can see it is working perfect as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video